My name is Aaron Costu, and I'm an elder here at Christ Fellowship. I've been asked to do a devotion for you, so today we're going to talk just a little bit about prayer. Prayer is an awesome and important part of our relationship with Christ. Uh, it's something that a lot of people um, are uncomfortable with. Some are comfortable with, never struggle with it. Some just fall right into it, and others wrestle with it and, and don't understand the, maybe the purpose of it or... or uh, think that maybe it's something different than it is. Um, and we're, we're not talking about praying in public right now. We're talking about just spending time with Jesus. And uh, though the same principles apply, regardless of when you pray, uh, praying in public, you know, we'll talk about that at another time. So I want to just focus on one scripture today. We're going to talk about Luke 11, 1. Uh, this is out of the ESV, and it goes like this. Now Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. Now, if we could travel back in time and ask Jesus just one question, what would it be? Maybe it would be this question about prayer or another question, or maybe it would be something altogether different. Uh, but that's an interesting thing to think about. And I often think about that. And I, I love questions like this because it helps me to understand where I have room to grow. So when we look at the disciples, and uh, now these they ask Jesus questions all the time, and uh, this is a particularly powerful question that they're asking at this time. Uh, they asked, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. So maybe some of us have wondered how to pray exactly, or uh, what what does right prayer look like? So an excellent place to start is simple. Just move everything away and start with Jesus. Start with a friend. Start with a loving Father. Just understand that prayer is, is an intimate relationship. It's a conversation between a friend. Uh, Jesus begins in his, his uh, Lord's Prayer, or the famous prayer, uh, Our Father. This denotes an awesome relationship with a loving Father and friend. Prayer is about this relationship uh, with our awesome Father, with God himself. It's not a wish list uh, or a grovel session between us and some distant figure uh, in the sky. Or This is a personal, intimate, two-way conversation with a friend and a father that loves us and is excited to hear from us. And, and that's what uh, maybe I hope to get across today is, some of the things that help me to understand, um, to keep in my mind when I'm, when I'm praying uh, to the Lord are to look at, at some truths, some facts of his character that we can find in, in reading through the word. And a couple of those uh, facts of his character uh, relative specifically, I guess, to prayer is that God is a perfect father. And he wants to hear from us. He desires to converse and to hear from us, from you, his child. Now, another one is that he's a holy father. And he is powerful enough, he's big enough to intervene in our lives and in the lives of those that we pray for. And another that I like to focus on is that he's a willing father. He wants to deliver and he wants to work through us. He wants to deliver us from what's going on in our lives, and he wants to work through us to help bless other people, ourselves, and help deliver them. Another thing that I find important to keep at the front of my mind is that God is our provider. Everything that I have in my life is from him. My children, my wife, the financial provision, all of it, it's his, and it's because of him. My job, any, any station I have, Promotion comes from God and God alone. It's all His. And in realizing that, when I'm in prayer, I, I find that it directs my prayers maybe in a more appropriate fashion, helps me understand who my provider is. God transforms us through prayer. He renews our mind and He directs our steps. That's such an important fact to remember before I, I go and when I'm in prayer is that that prayer time, he doesn't need it. He desires it, doesn't need it, but we need it. He uses this time to transform us and to renew our mind, 
and to direct our steps. So I encourage you, maybe take off the comfort zone for a second, step back out of it, and, and just talk to a friend. Spend some time and, and listen. Spend some time listening. Just close your eyes and meditate after you pray. In your prayer, ask God to speak to you. Ask him to unfold the Bible that you just read or the Bible that you're about to read. Ask him for uh, the things in your life that are important to you. Next time we talk, maybe I'll talk about uh, an acrostic that uh, Pastor Ken used to love to tell us about uh, that helps us maybe understand just a good format for our prayer. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and close us in prayer. And uh, Father God, Lord, we love you. God, I thank you so much for the opportunity to come before you. doesn't matter where we are or what's going on in our lives. You're happy to hear from your children. You're excited to spend time with us. And that's a blessing that we don't deserve. But thank you, God. Lord, I thank you for this precious time with our people today, with your people. I thank you for this time with you. Lord, I pray that right now you would reach out and just send a blessing over each person that's watching this show today, God. Place a head of protection over their households, over their finances, and over their relationship with you, God. Father, thank you for all the blessings you've given us. Thank you, Lord God, for the provision. Thanks, God, for the protection and the health. Lord, thank you that I'm not aware that a single person that is a part of our congregation uh, has been affected by this COVID. Praise God. You are a good God. You're a big God, and we love you. Lord God, I pray that you would cause this word to resonate in our hearts today, Lord that you would give us a hunger and thirst for the things of God. Father, that you would just draw us to you and help us to have a greater desire to have a personal relationship and a personal prayer relationship with you, God. We love you and praise you in Jesus' name. 